Fuck, man. Working on the next layer, which is the core mat and then two layers shingled. I'm gonna do the same thing where I do each side. Uh, I'm gonna have it end about an inch on top, inch on bottom. It's been a little cold at night, so I've set up a heater box where I just got a heater going um, to warm up the resin. Yeah, nice and warm in there. Ooh. So that way the resin gets nice and flowy and it'll flow well. I think the mistake I made last time was I did it one side and when it was a little bit cold. Um, it allowed me more time for layup, but it ended up not soaking in so well. So if I get the resin nice and hot first, it'll flow well. It'll cool down quick once I spread it. and It'll be cold outside and let it cure slower. So that's the plan. Let's Good morning, Steamliner. Oh man, maybe that'll come out, maybe not. Oh God. Why is it still wet? Anybody know why it's still wet? Not mixed enough, maybe? These are actually the locations where I was taking the bucket and flipping it upside down to get everything out of the bucket. That was stupid because I had a bunch of unmixed epoxy around the outside and I should have never done that. And basically it means that I just put pure resin on here. So I'm gonna do, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna put like a light coat of hardener heavy mix and cross my fingers and pray that it makes things happen. So. The good thing is I didn't start doing that till the very end and I didn't start doing it until I was pretty much out of the carbon on. So hopefully we can just get this light stuff done and we'll move on. Okay, so just finished off the last layup. Um, had to do everything by myself. So it was a bit of a rush. I got all the layers finished, peel ply and the core mat. Um, it took about three hours per side. So tomorrow I'll let it cure and I'll pull the peel ply off and hopefully everything looks good. It already looks like there's a couple of little wrinkles and stuff, but not too much, so. Fingers crossed, get close. Okay, so today I pretty much went for it. I basically decided um, I was gonna just go for it and put all this stuff down. And it turned out fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so stoked on it. I mean, the, I can't complain. There's some small blemishes and stuff, but... So I got a lot of area on the top and bottom of the bike that are kind of just like landing pads for my uneven cuts of carbon fiber. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the core mat so it fits into these weird shapes and then lay one last layer of carbon fiber across the bottom to try and smooth it out a little bit. I'm not terribly concerned with the surface finish or even the lumpiness of the bottom of this. Um, so I'm just gonna make it fit, put some carbon over it and then drown this thing in epoxy. So we'll see how it works out. Guys, I get a lot of questions in the comments about how I get my perfect straight scissor cuts. And uh, I'm gonna let you in, in a little secret. So 
using scissors um, is more about concentrating your face than your hands. So what I like to do is I get all lined up and then I'll scrunch my face up like You see, every time you push the scissors, you make a different little scrunchie. Make sure you hold your breath completely and go as slow as possible. Hey guys, it's done. <laughs> This is insane. This is absolutely insane that I made this. I am over the moon about how well it turned out. I was, I had the worst expectations of what this project was gonna end up. And when I started this, I never thought that I would be making this body. I figured I would save money and, and you know, try and earn enough cash to try and make someone else make this. And I tried, I tried so hard. I found three or four people who were kind of on board, but wish-washy. And in the end, I just decided to jump in head first, teach myself, learn as much as I could. And I am so ecstatic about this. This is one of the biggest projects I think I've ever taken on with the limited amount of knowledge I had about it. That whole 
chassis, the whole streamliner. I know how to do that. I knew how to do it before I even started. I had no clue what I was doing at the beginning of this. And it may not be like the most beautiful thing ever, but I am so freaking stoked. I'm so happy. This is like, I don't even know. I can't explain my feelings right now, but I'm stoked that you guys continue to watch and I hope you continue to watch more. And we're gonna be going out in two months to break that record at Bonneville. Hopefully one more month, I'll be going to El Mirage to get my rookie license. Keep following along guys, share the video. I, I really want people to see how inspiring this can be. How if you put your mind to it, you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to do what you want. You can make it happen. And this is just a testament to that. So thanks guys. I really appreciate you watching. Subscribe.